A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church of Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucian, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul 
for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they went forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was 11, 12, 13 years old, I was in the Boy Scouts. And we used to go camp in the middle of nowhere. That's back in the days around here in Stewart and Jensen Beach when there were a lot of woods out there. Not so many buildings and houses, but a lot of woods. And when we go camping on the weekends in the Boy Scouts, we would play a game called Capture the Flag. Has anybody here ever played Capture the Flag? All right, so you know what the game is. So we did this at night, of course, and we would each have flashlights and we would split into teams and we would do, we would try to capture the other team's flag. Well, one time I was out there and I didn't check my batteries before I went camping in my flashlight. And so it's the middle of the night, I don't know, it's nine or 10 o'clock at night, it's very dark. And we're out in the woods and we're each trying to get back to this flag and my flashlight went dark. 
I was using it to find my way. And I mean, there were a lot of palmetto bushes and pine trees, and it, it was dense woods there. So with my flashlight, I went out. It's like, what do I do now? So I started walking and right into a tree. And then I tried walking another direction and ran into palmetto bushes. Has anybody here ever run into palmetto bushes? They have sharp little teeth on the, on the palms. I was lost. And after a little while, I thought, how am I going to find my way out of here? And a few minutes later, my friend Dave showed up with his flashlight. He checked his batteries before he went camping. And Dave gave me the light, and we continued the game because he had that flashlight. He had the light. I could see the path. Well, in today's gospel, we hear Jesus say, I came into the world as light so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And what I experienced as a Boy Scout is similar to what we experience with Jesus. And that is that he shows us the way. He is the light. It says that many times in scripture, that Jesus is our light. And his word, the Bible, the gospel that we hear, the word of God, is a lamp for our feet and a light for our path. In other words, God leads us and shows us. Now, have you ever seen, sometimes they show this in comic books or in cartoons or other things like that, where you see a light bulb over somebody's head. You ever see that, where it's like doing? It's like, I saw the light. And what that means is that you all of a sudden understand something. It dawns on you that, ah, this is what the truth is. This is what's right. It's that aha moment where the light comes on and you see something clearly. A lot of times that's a gift from God, that he opens our eyes and our hearts and our minds. An example of that for me was I used to play football and baseball. And there was a fella that was a big rival of mine. We got into little wrestling matches and we were both football and baseball players and we didn't like each other very much. And that went on for years. And finally I began to get, I was kind of tired of having this rivalry with him. And I was in church one Sunday and I had heard this scripture many times, but it's like that little light bulb went off. It said, the word said, love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you. And for some reason, my eyes and my heart opened to that. And I prayed there in church, Lord, how do I do that with Ronnie? And it occurred to me, God, I think God inspired me was just say a nice word, say something kind to him. So at our next football practice, I said to him, good job. And he looked surprised because I had never said that to him before. He thought I, I was kidding. And so he didn't like it very much. And he pushed me and thought I, he thought that I was being facetious, but I wasn't. So the next time he did something good, I praised him also. And before very long, those words of encouragement, that light that went off in my mind and my heart, that the way to solve this was to praise him and to thank him and to be his friend, even if he didn't praise me or thank me, even though he wasn't my friend at the time. And after a while, you know what we call that? We call that love, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. And for all of us, for all of our lives, no matter how young you are or how old, you will have challenges in loving others. There will be people who don't like you, who think you're ugly, or who think some other bad thing about you. And the natural reaction is to strike out at them. But the light of Jesus tells us that we are to love our enemies and pray for those who pure persecute us. That is a hard thing to do. And we can only do that by the grace of God. But that's an example of the light of Christ. 
That is an example of how the Lord leads us. So today, think about this. Ask yourself this. Is the Lord Jesus the light of my life? Do I let him lead me? Do I love the way he wants me to love? Do I give the way he wants me to give? Think about that. And let the Lord Jesus be the light of your life. That the Holy Spirit may continue to bless and sustain our Holy Mother Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. For our public officials and world leaders, may God's love for every human being take root in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in need of family stability, especially children in the foster care system or awaiting adoption, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that Jesus may come to us as light this Easter season to dispel the darkness of our fear, sin, and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deceased loved ones, may they experience God's love in the eternal life promised to God's faithful ones. Let us pray to the Lord. For those persons whose names are written in our box of petitions, and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Father, hear the prayers we offer today. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join our presentation song, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Lord. Time above all to love you yet more gloriously 
when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.
trustworthy. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass on former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, guys, you are the light of Christ. You have received the light. Don't keep it only for yourself. You have heard the story from Legion. His friend has used his light to rescue him, to show him the way. Use your light to show others the way, to lead them to Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Have a blessing. And be here. Please join in our essential song, Lord Rainy.